Ladies and gentlemen, Matthews here from Emmanuel Forex Traders. I'm here with a trade recap on what happened on USD Swiss. So for that and more, watch the rest of the video. All right, so let me break down this particular setup that we had today. So we can clearly see that on the four hour time frame, this market has been going to the downside for a long time, right? So when you go again here on the four hour time frame, you can clearly see that the market gave us a nice rally based drop supply zone, which was uh, formed by big momentum candles, breaking structure, which is very, very significant. So right here also what is of significance here is that the market was coming to us in the form of a compression which was good other than that we have to go to the lower time frame to the 15 minutes time frame to actually get our order block and we had to extend this to the right side for us to wait for the price to come to our level right here so we can clearly see that this trade was shared with our private community right here our stop loss was eight pips and our target was like 90 pips and you can clearly see the market gave us a nice confirmation candle for sales right here. Unfortunately, this trade turned out to be a loss, as you can see. So this is how it is. So I always, you guys, I always try to tell you guys that on a trade by trade basis, regardless of how beautiful your setup might look, anything can happen. Always remember that. No matter how perfect your setup might look, anything can happen. So you always have to predefine your risk, know exactly how much you are willing to lose on that particular trade and be okay with risking that amount. Always trade with the amount of money you are willing to lose because losing is part of this game, right? If you can't handle losses, you can be a consistently profitable trader because these setups are the same, right? You have to take the same setup every time. You will never know which setup is going to be profitable, right? So you are obligated to take all the trades that meet your criteria because you have no idea which trade is going to be profitable. So in order for you to do that, you need to be you need to embrace losing. You need to embrace losing because losing is part of this game. All right. So you always just have to make sure that you are predefining your risk, know exactly how much you are risking and become consistent in executing that trade setup and for you to do that you need to have confidence in that strategy that it will produce positive expectancy over the series of trades i can show you some of the trades uh for example we had uh euro card exactly same setup right here and so far it's running over 1 to 17 risk to reward ratio and the target is like 1 to 30 beautiful trade up that actually worked out but nobody knew that this was going to happen right i can show you card swiss as well this was actually shared yesterday and you can clearly see that right now it's going out uh, it's uh, in profit almost like one to one to twelve risk reward ratio and this trade was actually shared yesterday right here okay so it's all about having a long-term mindset because in the short term literally literally anything can happen so you need to be okay with losing look at this we took also uh, nzd swiss right here look at this nzd swiss right here and then guess what happened this trade also turned out to be a loss and we were taken out right there so if there's one thing that you're supposed to be good at is losing in this game you have to be okay losing you need to be all right taking a loss because if you're not, you can't make it long term, right? You will never make it long term if you don't embrace losing. Losing is so much part of this game. Unfortunately, few traders out there are talking about this. Few people talk about losses in public so here on YouTube. Why? Because they don't want to show you that they're losing, which is very, very unfortunate. 
you have to come with this to this industry with the right set of mind where you think long term rather than thinking short term you have to have a long term mindset which you, where you think in terms of series of trades rather than thinking in one to two trades right because in the short term literally anything can happen so in order for you to have the confidence to be able to execute your strategy flawlessly regardless of the outcome of the previous trade you need to have back tested forward tested and live traded that strategy for you to have the confidence if you don't have such a strategy you are literally gambling all right so in order for you to avoid doing that we have our MDF mastery course which comes with trading psychology risk management and our strategy exactly like how, like we traded so we have all that covered for you so right now we're still running our promotion which is going to the 28th of february this year right so we are not going to have such a promotion ever again so make sure you check the first link in the description so that you become part of our community all right so this is extremely important make sure you take advantage of this promotion because we will never have such a promotion ever again so make sure that you check the first link in the description to become part of mnf uh community so you guys i hope you found this video informative if you have make sure you subscribe like and comment in the comment section remember short long-term mindset over short-term mindset because in the short term literally anything can happen you guys have a great rest of the day